Hey, everyone! Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to walk through the step-by-step -step process of installing Fedora 41 Beta Workstation on Microsoft Windows 11 using VirtualBox Virtual Machine. Whether you're a developer, an enthusiast, or just someone curious about Linux, this guide is for you. Let's dive right in. The first thing you need to do is download the Fedora 41 Beta Workstation ISO. Head over to the Fedora Project's official website, find the workstation version, and download the latest ISO. I'll put the link in the description below. Now that we have the Fedora ISO, let's set up our virtual machine. Open VirtualBox, click New, and create a virtual machine with the following specs. Two processors, 2048 megabytes, two gigabytes of RAM, 128 megabytes of video memory, 30 gigabytes of HDD space, NAT for networking. And don't forget to attach the Fedora 41 Beta ISO to the virtual CD-ROM drive. With everything set up, let's start the virtual machine. After a few minutes, you should see the Fedora desktop screen appear. Once it does, click Install to Hard Drive to begin the installation process. Now, follow along as we walk through the installation process. The video will guide you through selecting your language, keyboard layout, and partitioning the disk. Once done, Fedora will install. This might take a few minutes. After the installation is complete, exit and halt the VM. Go back to VirtualBox and remove the Fedora ISO from the virtual CD-ROM. Now, start the VM again without the ISO. Once Fedora boots, you'll need to complete some basic setup. Create a username, set your password, and configure your system preferences. After that, open a terminal and run the command sudo dnf update to update the system. Then reboot. Once your system reboots, it's always good practice to check for any additional updates. You can do this again by running sudo dnf update in the terminal. If no updates are available, you're good to go.
And that's it. You've successfully installed Fedora 41 Beta Workstation on Windows 11 using VirtualBox. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Linux and tech-related content. If you have any questions or run into issues, drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.